Hey there, Chad with Project's Customer Success Team here. In this video, we're going to talk about our Estimates and Invoices page. From the dashboard, you could click on the Go to Estimates tab, or over here on the left-hand side in the navigation bar, you could click on the Estimates tab as well from anywhere within the app. Now, the first thing that you'll see is you'll see a draft, waiting, paid, or all section. This is where you can navigate around invoicing to see invoices in different statuses and different phases along the way. There's also up at the top a sort option. So you can sort by estimated revenue, date, expiration date of the estimate, or different invoice properties and things along those lines, or company or name, and you can always filter. Uh, there's a special unique filter on the invoicing page here in the estimate page where if you click on this you could see different estimate statuses or invoice statuses that you could toggle on or off to specifically see exactly what you're looking for. And if you build this perfect filter that shows you just the bit of data that you're looking for so you can always repeatedly get to it, you can save it here using the little star button and then click on the saved filters and uh, you could even rename that filter for say the perfect invoice filter, if that was the case. And simply saving that allows it to be here and you can select it or you can you know, clear out the filter and it takes you back to here. Additionally, if we open up like the draft section here, you can see just draft estimates or just draft invoices if you wanted. Additionally, you could select any one of these statuses. So in the waiting, we have waiting for supervisor approval or review, ready to send a customer if it's uh, going to have a review uh, process that's been already approved, waiting for customer approval here or different um, other statuses throughout the, the entire estimate process or the invoice process. And then additionally paid, you could see anything that's 100% paid or anything that's partially paid. Uh, in this case, if we open up the paid status, you'll see specifically invoices that have any sort of payment that's been recorded into the system. And then from here, uh, you could easily clear out the filter. So this takes us back to where we were. So that's pretty straightforward. Now you'll also see the show revenue projections. This is based off of when the invoices are marked as due. So by default, your invoices are marked as due on the day that they're created. You can extend that out and we'll show you that in a later video of exactly how to change that time frame or you know schedules or things along those lines. Uh, but this just gives you a really great idea of what's coming up this week, next week, the following week, and the week after that. Um, and then from here as well, if we open up the waiting status, we could look at everything, say, that's approved as an estimate. Now, some of these estimates may have some invoices associated with them. If they have 100% functionality already or 100% invoice uh, that are either created, waiting payment, or they're already in draft form, you can no longer add another invoice. But you can see here, this one for Ken is 65%. And there's some white here, which indicates that there's money on the table that has not been invoiced. We could add another invoice for this pretty easily. Um, you can see down here, you can name the invoices. In this case, it says, uh, you know, 40% deposit or a post install progress payment or something along those lines. And uh, you can also, you know, sort by some of those different things in here as well to specifically get the information you're looking for. And uh, if we want to look at just estimates that have been uh, approved but do not yet have an invoice, you'll see this big giant blue button here so that you can obviously tell it's time to create a deposit invoice for this. So let's uh, create one here for this. We'll go ahead and add an invoice for this estimate. And there's a lot of different options. Uh, so you can name the invoice if we just want to call this a deposit invoice. And then we could specifically just say, I want to invoice 40% of this. And then in here under the description, we could say it's a uh, standard 40% deposit. And then from here, what you'll be able to do is you could see that that's there. We'll have it uh, set the payment due date right here. You could change that to a later date, an earlier date, whatever those would be. You can also invoice instead of percentages into dollars. So if you wanted to say, uh, set up a draw schedule in your contract, you could say this much is due at deposit, this much is due when this part of the project is complete and final payment is due at this time or multiple draws. And you could actually name your invoices draw one, draw two, draw three to match your contract if that's how you'd like to do it. Uh, and then additionally, you could also invoice based off of cost lines. So if we wanted to do an itemized estimate specifically based off of all the individual cost lines, we could do that too. But let's just stick to this one. 
And down here in the introduction area, we could import the introduction from the estimate as well as the contract details from the original estimate that was approved by the customer. And then from here, we could preview it just to see what it looks like for the customer. And what you can see here is we have the intro that came in. It says a standard 40% deposit, uh, total estimate value, uh, the estimate value that's been invoiced so far, and then how much is on the table at the end of the day. And they can easily print the invoice uh, for their records. And then from here, we could mark it as ready to send and then send the invoice using the send button. This will open your default mail, or you could even copy this hyperlink, text it to them. And when we click preview as customer here, it's just the same as actually clicking on this link in another browser. You could text this to them. You could email this to them. Uh, when you do the send a customer for approval, it opens up your default mail program and it does actually add the link into your mail program, send it off to them really easy, really straightforward. And then from here, we'll say we marked this invoice as sent and you'll see that it moves from being gray to being yellow awaiting payment. And then from here, we can go ahead and see we've now marked this as a deposit invoice for this tile installation. And that's how to send out a deposit invoice. Now later, when we need to record a payment, we could go ahead and click on that. And right down here, we could record a payment. We could say it was a check, check number one and then it by default is the value of the invoice. We'll go ahead and apply the payment. If you wanted to edit a payment, you could see all previous payments, delete a payment, record a new payment, and then keep track of that that way. And from here as well, we can now see that it's marked as paid and turned green. And if we wanted to add a deposit, or sorry, a progress payment here, uh, we could do the same thing that we just did and create an additional invoice here and make it due for a later date once we've made it further down the line. So that's just a brief overview of kind of how to interact with some of the invoicing, how to work with the different parts of the system and how to navigate around this new page. Uh, let us know what you think and always feel free to give us a call if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.